Hey, what is up guys? It's Chaotic here and welcome to yet another Dokken Battle video. Today is going to be different. Uh, it's going to be a different type of video because it's not a showcase. This is actually talking regarding the V-Jump scan that we just got for this month. So apparently, we are finally getting a Dokken Fest. I think it's Majin Buu and Puriva Buu. It's going to be like a combined card and I'm pretty sure they're going to have a retreat mechanic and an active skill. It's kind of crazy. We went from months without the retreat mechanic. Then suddenly, uh, Vegeta and Appa come out, boom, they have an active skill and a retreat mechanic, and now this card is gonna be having a retreat and active skill. I'm pretty sure it is an active skill. Look, watch. You summon him as Majin Buu, you know, angry, right? Or whatever. I'm pretty sure this is just gonna be Majin Buu, maybe angry? I'm not too sure. I really don't know. And then he awakens to Majin Buu and pure evil Buu. Now, I'm pretty sure, you know, uh, they're gonna, it's gonna retreat into evil Buu. I don't know if he's gonna kill him or i have no, i will not kill him but i don't know what he's gonna do i, re I really don't know how they're gonna go about that and then of course active skill into super boo now the animations for these i already know they're gonna be quite crazy i mean is super boo gonna do that you know when he picked up his hand in what do you call assault rain i'm not too sure how he called it but where he just legit annihilated the whole earth that would be a pretty cool super type it could be an aoe imagine back-to-back -back aoe that would be amazing now if we take a look, I think he is Extreme Int. So yet another Extreme Int. Oh no, Int Rosé. We got Int Rosé. Oh, never mind. You know, that's not even too many Ints that we've gotten. So him being Int is actually really good, even though Extreme Int is extremely powerful. I really wanted him to be physical just because the physical Extreme is kind of lackluster. Like, it's really not as powerful as, like, oh, I guess Extreme AG is kind of lacking too, but... Mm, it did get ex some buffs, but yeah, I, I'm pretty sure phys Extreme Physical would have been perfect for this guy. But you know what? Not even mad. We got it. We're getting a new Magic Pool, and I'm happy. By the way, this is the new mode. I will be explaining how to like all the rules. There is connectors, supporters. You got to take a main character to fight in this event, and it's very different. It's gonna be so different. You can even ex like borrow. Well, you can like mm, like yeah, borrow around eight units to another teammate. Or eight, ten. I'm not too sure how many, but then they can choose from your, from your, like the deck that you chose. It's so weird. It's something new, and you know what? I think this is the right direction for Doken. I hope it succeeds. You know, and I really hope it does something new. Now we do have a base form gold tanks. Oh my god! I've been asking for a base form gold tanks, legit since two years ago. Like literally. Oh my god! Like I've been just asking. Like come on, man. We need like a base form gold tanks. Like. The fusion category is just, uh, it's just not, it's not crazy. Well, I guess it got a buff with Blue Gogeta, right? The the ones from JP, the 5th anniversary unit, but mm, I don't know, man. We, we really needed a, a new fusion, so this is perfect. I think this is just beautiful. I mean, base from Gold Tanks goes into the Super Saiyan Gold Tanks, and then I'm pretty sure active skill into Super Saiyan 3? I'm pretty sure that's how they're going to go about it, but I'm not too sure. He's probably going to be like Tech Trunks, where he's base form, uh, Super Saiyan Trunks and then um, Super Saiyan 2 Trunks. Does it go Super Saiyan 2? I don't even remember. Holy crap. Oh, no, no. You can use the active skill to do the Sword Trunks. Yeah, there we go. That's exactly how I think it's going to roll out. So, yes. I think this is going to be perfect. And he's, he is uh, super physical, which I was kind of like... Oh, the holy moly. Okay, that, that's actually like pretty decent. Uh, I wish... No, no, no. Physical is perfect for him, I think. If he would have been AGL, oh my... I would have lost my brain. I'm like, dude... There's no way we can get another Super Agio unit in this game. Super Agio is the only freaking typing that does not need buffs at all for like the following three months or something or four or five. I don't even know. But I, I don't think we should get a new uh, Super Agio unit. Now, he is ama I'm pretty sure he's going to be amazing. I mean, yeah, he, that kind of looks like he's doing like the whole Wolfang Fist pose. I don't know if he's going to do Wolfang Fist. It's going to be really interesting. Oh my god, dude. I hope Piccolo comes in. Like he comes out in the... Boo Boo Volleyball, or I don't know what they're going to do, man. I really hope he lives up to the expectations. For me, I'm actually kind of more hyped on the Boo, just because he seems more interesting, like a retreat mechanic and an active skill. I don't know if he's going to... I mean, I'm pretty sure he's just going to have an active skill. I don't know if... I mean, I can see right there. Does that mean active skill? I'm not too sure. I mean, we're just going to have to see. Now, right here. I wanted to see the, right here. Um, The leader skills for both of them. So, I definitely think Boo is going to be the Majin... And transforming boost. That's my prediction. All right. So I think he's gonna be Majin, 
like the the M, you know, whatever the Bobby D spells and all that crap. Majin and transforming boost. They're gonna add that transforming boost as a secondary cutter just to make it like better, because you know Majin is kind of limited. And I'll see what buffs they can give it to make it a little better. And then Go Tanks. Um, I definitely think you could get um. Mm, Majin Buu Saga 170. I hope it is. If this is per, uh, if he is on uh, the 170 lead for that, that would be perfect. I'll be honest, I'll be happy. I really do not want Gotenks to get a new leader skill, just because um we're getting like we're getting to a point where every single Doken Fest that releases has a new leader skill, and I'll be honest, I think that's gonna be unhealthy for the game. Just releasing new categories every single unit that releases, yo, like what's going on? We're not even buffing like the old categories that need actual buffs, and it's just gonna become a problem to be honest. So I really hope he's the 170 lead for Majin Buu Saga and maybe hybrids. I don't really want him to be fusion because we got Blue Gogeta fifth uh, anniversary as a 170 lead for that as an extra, so he shouldn't be fusions. I think it's hybrids and the Majin Buu Saga. If not, no, yes, I definitely think we should get that. That's perfect for me. Hybrids and Majin Buu Saga. You can run a whole oh my god, that would be so good. Definitely think that's pretty good for him. Now, if we take a look at the Majin Buu Saga, I mean, it's quite good. It's just, it really needs, like, mm, like a little bit more harder hitting units, even though it's, you know, we got the, we kind of, okay, you know what, let, let me go into this. All right, Tech Majin Vegeta. Definitely think this is the perfect time to bring these two back. Majin Vegeta could be on the, how do you call it, Buu banner, and Goku, the Super Saiyan 2 uh, Angel Goku could be on the Gotenks banner. This is why I think this is going to be perfect. Oh my god, like, they haven't come back in a while. And, you know, when they came out, they were hyped, but they weren't crazy hyped. If you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, no one even talks about them anymore. So, I'm pretty sure this is a perfect time to just bring them back. And, you know, just start a whole new thing on them. And I think it'll be perfect. Not only that, but how I said, Majin category. He, he's going to be immediately on it. And he's going to be on... Oh, both of these are going to be on the Majin Buu Saga category. The new one, the, well, the 170 lead for it. And I think it's just going to be perfect. I mean, they're quite amazing units. They're crazy. He's like a baby Janimba. And he's uh, uh, kind of like Gogeta. Effective against all types. So I think perfect. Bring these two back, please. Now, base from Gotenks. Definitely think Easy Ace for these two are coming. Super Saiyan Gotenks, the AGO one. And STR Gotenks, for sure. Guaranteed that they're going to be easy aim whenever maybe Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks comes back. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to bring Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks easy A come back. And they're going to easy A from it. Hopefully. I think for sure this guy from it, he might... I hope he does. I really hope he does. Easy A's as well. Like both of them. And then this is what I, was, uh, I wanted to talk about. So right here. Buffs. Extreme Z area. We can get an Extreme Z area. You know how they always awaken the with Extreme Z area the... I think the Hero Extermination plan characters, the, the ones that require those medals. I'm pretty sure Extreme Z area for Majin Buu Good is coming. And Majin Vegeta. We This guy gets an easy A. He, you can finally... He's going to make a return to the World Tournament. And I think that is perfect for me. I'm pure saying he's amazing. Um, he's going to be really good on Resurrected, Majin Buu, Vegeta's family. You know, all the categories he's on. He's Okay, I mean... No, Last Resort, yeah, over in a flash. It's perfect. I think... He's going to be, you know, really good on there. So I'm pretty sure Extreme Zero is coming. I mean, they can give him, like, just just buff him immediately. Make him a really good leader skill and just, yeah, I definitely think an easy A for these two. Extreme Zero is coming. Now, here's the other one. Maybe an easy A for this guy. I don't think Extreme Zero, but I think an easy A for this guy is also coming. I mean, he's been needing it for, like, the longest time. I mean, he's... He's decent, but his defense is all kinds of bad. I mean, this is worthless. This doesn't even do anything in the game. Like, it really doesn't. I guess for Broly, but no one runs the Broly event anymore. I mean, he's got pretty good links, but he needs an easy A. As well as Tech Kid Buu, badly needs an easy A. I mean, he... I mean, that's just not great. He's got a decent attack stat. I mean, they can make, they can make all these units really good as well as this guy definitely think easy a easy a easy a like we need I, I guess literally just give us triple medals for this like if you're gonna easy a them so you know they won't cheese like stones and they're 30 stones for each one oh hell no just bring literally either like an extreme z area that easy is all three of these or just one easy a that um like the kid boo easy a can come back and just give us all three medals for each and every of these uh, boosts. And of course, Extreme Zero for Majin Vegeta and Majin Buu. And then just the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks banner, uh, Easy A comes back. And boom, Easy A right there. Now, I think that's going to be um, 
what personally what I would want. And of course, part two of Golden Week, I'm not too sure if they do part two. I'm not really familiar with it that much. But I really hope, I really hope we get a um, an LR that is starts as Super Saiyan 3, right? Um, then you use an active skill, goes into base form, and does the spirits, the super spirit bomb. And, you know, he does the whole, uh, you know, quote of freaking killing Boo and stuff. And then the ending cutscene can just be, how do you call him, him doing the thumbs up. Oh my god, I would legit cry if they were to release that unit. I think that would be a perfect, do uh, I mean, part 2 LR for sure. I mean, he could legit start as a, yeah, right here, Super Saiyan 3, just fighting Boo. Because we don't have a Dokken's Fest Super Saiyan 3. I mean, I guess this is the one, Dokken Fest. But, you know, he's really freaking... I mean, when did he come out? 2015 in JP and 2016? Yeah, the, super old. Like, goddamn. So, I would love a uh, Part 2 LR of Super Saiyan 3 Goku that turns into base form and does a Super Spirit Bomb. And then, you know, goes into Super Saiyan the whole thing and then just annihilate it. Oh, my God. I would love, love to see that unit. Maybe even an exchange unit where it's Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Vegeta... And then it exchanges to Vegeta while, you know, Goku's doing the whole Spirit Bomb. And then the active skill, boom, the Super Spirit Bomb. I think that would be perfect. Immediately, that perfect part to LR. I think a lot of people would summon on that. Now, I think that's going to be it for, for me as of right now. I mean, I will be updating you guys on OSTs and when the Gotenks OST releases and as well as the Boo OST release. I'm probably going to make a 10-minute extended. I've been doing just 10 minutes just because that's my own thing. I don't really like extending to like... 15 to 20 because it does take a while like a longer time to you know edit it you know every single part it's it gets quite hard but um i think 10 minutes it's perfect for me now guys if you did enjoy today's video and pretty much every single other video you know i've been <laughs> really uploading a lot <laughs> like three times a day it's crazy make sure to like comment and subscribe and tell me what you guys think about golden week you know are you excited for boo Gotenks, who are you going to be summoning for? Please just tell me in the comment section. Make sure to go check out my other YouTube videos as well as you uh, you want to tune in on my streams. I do stream every day from 5 p.m. Central. At least I try. Um, Twitch.tv slash chaotic tense. Everything's down in the description down below. By the way, guys, follow my boy Dokin Assets. He did actually uh, follow me. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's around here. Um, where is he? Uh, my boy right here. Dokin Assets, guys. He's the one that supplies us with all the assets. You know, we got the whole Vegeta when he first came out. He dropped all the freaking assets. Now, I do recommend you guys following him. He, he gives us every single asset in the game, and he's just really helpful. So, I'm, I feel grateful that he followed me. That's crazy. Like, I never thought, like, <laughs> he would follow me. But, man, you guys want to go follow me on Twitter as well? We're, all, we're so close to 100 followers. Five more. So, you guys are really helping me out there. So, make sure to just uh, also check out my Twitch stream. Just use Hyscalic Tense, like I said. And I hope you guys had a good one. It's been a fun one. Don't forget to keep it chaotic. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.